Welcome to the information session for the National and International Exchange Program. My name is Jessica Chahan, and I am the Student Mobility Coordinator. I look after both incoming and outgoing exchanges for you, Ottawa. I'll be your point of contact throughout the application process. My team and I would like to walk you through the important information and necessary steps for you to participate in a mobility opportunity. During this session, we will explain what the National and International Exchange Program is, we will go through the eligibility criteria, and we will go through the application process. Basically, all the important information and necessary steps for you to participate in a mobility opportunity. So please stay tuned. What is the National and International Exchange Program? It is a program offered to students at the University of Ottawa, which allows students to partake in studying abroad in one of our partner universities for one term or an entire academic year. In this type of exchange, students take courses at the host university that count toward their degree requirements at the University of Ottawa. Students can participate in this opportunity either during the fall term, the winter term, or both terms. The exchange program organized through the International Office is available to all faculties except the Faculty of Medicine, the Telfer School of Management, and students at the undergraduate level from the Faculty of Education. What does it take to be eligible for this program? All the information on the eligibility requirements can be found on the International Office's website. You may refer to www.international.uottawa.ca. Put your cursor on Go Abroad and click on Exchange Programs. You can then scroll until you found the section Determine Your Eligibility. This section provides you with detailed information on the requirements to be accepted in the Exchange Program. One must be enrolled in a program at the University of Ottawa as a part-time or full-time student. This program is open for students both at the undergraduate level and at the graduate level. Students enrolled in the co-op program are eligible to apply so long as they obtain the approval of their co-op advisor. At the time of application, applicants must be under the following legal status, Canadian citizen, permanent resident, or international student with a valid study permit. Generally, students at the undergraduate level are eligible to apply as of their second year of program. Students applying would travel to their host country during the following academic year. For example, Paul, who is a second year student in history, applies during the winter term of his second year of program and travels abroad during the fall term of his third year of program. You need to have obtained a minimum of 24 credits at the time of the application. There are a few exceptions to this. Students from the common law or the civil law section are eligible to apply as of their first year because you already completed some university before being admitted to your program. If you have transferred from another university or college and you received at least 24 credits in equivalencies when transferring, you are eligible to apply as of your first year. This also applies for students who received equivalency credits from courses done at the CGEP level. If you have at least 24 credits at the time of the application, then you can apply. If one of those three scenarios apply to you, please submit your application before the deadline in February. No late applications will be accepted. If you are a graduate student, you are eligible to apply during your first semester even if we are past the deadline. As soon as you start your program, please book an appointment with an employee from the International Office to discuss the process. Next, in order to be eligible for an exchange, there are certain academic standing requirements that students will need to meet. You must be in good academic standing and not on probation. Students applying for the regular exchange program must have a minimum CGPA of a C plus or a 5.0. However, it is important to note that certain destinations require a minimum CGPA of B or 6.0. It is important to check the university's profile in our search portal to find out what is required CGPA. We will show you how to find that information later in the session. The required minimum average must be maintained until departure, otherwise the exchange abroad will be cancelled. Now let's move on to information about course, grades, and transfer of credits. When studying at your host university, you will need to take courses that count as course equivalencies in your program here at U Ottawa. 
In order to get the credits transferred, you will need to show that you successfully passed your courses at your host university. The passing grade used by the host institution will be the one recognized by U Ottawa. Your academic specialist in the faculty will be doing the transfer of credits. The international office will provide them with your official transcript from your host university, including your grade and that university's grading scale. The course equivalencies will show on your U Ottawa transcript with a grade of pass or fail. The grade that you obtain at your host university will not be shown on your U Ottawa transcript. If you successfully pass your courses, you will receive a passing grade indicated as a CR, no matter what grade you received. Now you might be wondering, what if I need those grades to eventually apply for further studies after I'm done my program? In that case, you will submit your U Ottawa transcript along with the transcript from your exchange when applying for an admission, whether it is at U Ottawa or at another university. You might also be thinking, phew, I'm off the hook. I can barely pass my courses and still get the credits. You still must be very careful and try to get good grades. Let's say you eventually apply for graduate studies, law school, a job, or a scholarship which requires you to show your grades. They will want to refer to the grades you obtain during your exchange. Therefore, you still want to do your best to obtain good grades so you can avoid missing out on future opportunities. Here are other important details to take into consideration when partaking in the exchange program. When studying at your host university, you need to take a course load that is equivalent to a full-time course load at the University of Ottawa. How will you figure that out, you say? Let me help you. First, the number of credits and or the number of in-class hours are what is important to calculate when selecting your courses. You will need to take enough courses that add up to a minimum of four courses or a maximum of five courses at the University of Ottawa. Let's start with credits. For undergraduate students, four courses at U Ottawa are equal to 12 units and five courses are equal to 15 units. For graduate students, Two courses at U Ottawa are equal to six units and three courses are equal to nine units. You will need to take the equivalent of that when registering to your courses at the host university. Here's the tricky part. Credit systems can vary from country to country. You will need to make sure that you know how to do the conversion. In certain parts of the world, we already know the conversion. In Europe, for example, they use a European credit transfer system. Units, also known as credits, are called ECTS. All European universities use that system. The exact conversion is one U Ottawa unit is equivalent to two ECTS. Therefore, you will always divide the number of ECTS by two to make sure you have enough credits. A student wanting to take 15 units in a university in Europe will need to select enough courses for them to add up to 30 ECTS. A student wanting to take 12 units in a university in Europe will need to select enough courses for them to add up to 24 ECTS. Now, 24 or 30 ECTS do not necessarily add up to four or five courses. You might be taking more or less than five courses for them to add up to a full-time course load. For example, you might be taking three courses that are 10 ECTS each, and that will count toward five U Ottawa courses. Another example is that you might be taking six courses that are five ECTS each, and that will count toward five U Ottawa courses. Another way to calculate how many courses are equivalent to a full-time course load at the University of Ottawa is to calculate the number of in-class hours, or in other words, the number of contact hours. Generally, undergraduate students need to take courses that are equal to a minimum of 180 hours for it to be equivalent to a 15 units course load and 144 hours for a 12 unit course load. Your academic specialist will confirm whether you have enough credits when submitting your courses for evaluation. He or she will either use the number of hours or the number of credits depending on what is more to your advantage. If you're confused about how the conversion of credits for your institution works, we can connect you with a UO coach who can share their experience with you to help guide you. Ultimately, your academic specialist will confirm your credit transfer officially. Here is an example of how the course equivalencies from your exchange will be displayed on your U Ottawa transcript. Again, the courses that you will complete during your exchange will transfer to your program of study at the University of Ottawa.
They will appear on your transcript as course equivalencies as they were determined by your faculty's academic specialist. The grades for the courses will not appear on your UAuto transcript. The course's equivalencies will appear as credits. Under the section grade, you will get a CR, which means credits. It is the equivalent of a passing grade. We do not recommend that you go on exchange during the last term of your program. Unfortunately, it is impossible for us to obtain your official transcript for the convocation ceremony following your exchange. If you decide to participate in an exchange during your last term in the winter, you will not be able to participate in the ceremony happening in June. Your semester at your host university will have just finished or will not be over in June. We will also not be able to receive your transcript on time. Throughout the exchange, students remain registered to the University of Ottawa. Once accepted by the host university, you need to register to a course code specific to the exchange program. That course code is TRF1000. Being registered to TRF1000 generates a full-time status and full-time tuition fees. That will allow you to continue paying your tuition fees at the University of Ottawa while on exchange and your tuition fees will be waived at your host university. You will also be responsible of covering all of the other costs related to your exchange, such as housing, medical insurance, incidental fees, etc. Please note that you can be exempted from the UO pass while you are abroad. With proof of acceptance, you can submit that request from UOZone.